So this is the Plur device of Bitwig Studio, and it has two Alpass devices on the left channel and two Alpass delays on the right channel. And for each Alpass, you can change the delay time and also change here the feedback amount uh, for each of these. And then you have these dots where you can change both the, the delay time and the feedback setting here at the same time by just moving around these dots. And this device is basically used for creating reverbs, maybe also some stereo widening when you want to have a wider signal um, to blur or smear the signal a bit. And um, yeah, you can use it in all kinds of places if you want to. Um, to explain what this actually does is a bit, um, it's a bit weird to explain because this is not just a delay here. Um, sure, you have a delay time, but at the same time, yeah, the feedback setting is not a gain. It's actually percentage because you do two things at once. You bring in or you increase the feedback gain. So you build up a feedback. And then at the same time, if you go up to 100%, you bring in the dry signal. And you can hear that, um, that these two, the building up feedback and the dry signal are canceling each other out. So when we do here a long delay time and play something in the background, you can hear at 100% we don't hear anything at all. And if we bring this down slowly, you can hear a lot of feedback, but quiet in the background. So this means at 0% you have no feedback gain at all. So there's nothing that can build up over time. So no feedback at all. But at the same time, we hear the delay only. And at 100%, we have a lot of feedback, but you can't hear the feedback at all because we have only the dry signal. And we can prove this by changing the delay times at 100% and changing the delay times at 0%. You can hear that. So, right. So now we have basically only the try signal and have no delayed signal at all. But we have a lot of feedback in the background, but we can't hear it because we can only hear the, the dry signal. So let's, let's play this and play around here with the delay times. So no effect at all, right? So go back to 0% and then play around with the delay time here. Right, so 0% is delay only, but no feedback. And 100% is all the feedback, but only try signal. <laughs> so it's two things at once at the same time, basically. And you can try to find here a sweet spot. It's usually around 75% or something like this, where you have building up feedback in the background, but a bit of try signal in there. This is also when you double click here on these, um, on these parameters they reset to 50% because here you have probably the best effect of both worlds. So you have a bit of feedback and a bit of try signal. And if you do this for all these Alpass devices here at the same time, you can smear out the signal and you can almost hear that you can build a reverb out of this, right? Right? It's a nice reverb. So that's the blur device.